I've heard you talk about being in the present. What exactly does this mean, and how do I do this? Well, you probably can't, so just forget about it. It takes a long time to practice the presence of being where you are, when you are there. It takes a long time. It doesn't just happen overnight. You can't just get the book out, turn to page 342, and look up the definition, and then do that. It doesn't work that way. It takes long practice, effort, over a long period of time. Real effort. Right kind of effort. You can't just practice, oh, I think I'll be, I'm going to read this book now, so I think I'm going to be present while I read this book. Being present means being mentally awake. Being aware of whatever it is you're doing, and aware of yourself at the same time. So you just, you're essentially taking your consciousness and you're splitting it so that you can be aware of two things at one time. Your own self and how you are processing information inside of yourself, your own consciousness, your own inner state, and whatever it is that you're doing. Well, we're, we're a little consciousness embarrassed, actually. You know, it's kind of like being poor. If you don't have enough money, you can't buy that. Well, being present is the kind of thing where you don't have enough money for that. So you can't really buy that. You're going to have to save up. And I was talking to James last night about money and saving. He said, well, he had to tithe 10% of his money. So that was gone. That was gone. Then he had to save 50% of his money. I said, what do you mean save 50% of your money? You mean save it for what you want? No, I put it in my bank account. He doesn't even get to save it for what he wants. He has to put it in his bank account. Then the other, he gets to, to save or do whatever he wants. With. And he's saving for this. He's saving for this game console. I asked him how much it cost and how much he had. And he's light years away. And I said, well, come over and mow my lawn tomorrow and I'll pay you 10 bucks. He said, I'll do it for less, which is interesting negotiation. <laughs> when, you know, when you think about it, it's like, no, you'll do it for 10 bucks. That's what you'll do it for. And then I started figuring out what I'd have to pay him so that he would actually get 10 bucks. See, the, the truth is, is that he'll do it for less is really true. <laughs> because first of all, 10% of it's gone, then another 50%, then 45% of it's gone. You know, so, so already, you know, he's got... 55% of it's gone before he even really sees it. So I figure, what do I have to pay him to mow my lawn in order for him to get 10 bucks? And then he tells me what he does with his money. Well, I go here and I, and I buy poppers. And he's like, I never did ask him what poppers were. It didn't even sound good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just didn't sound good. I thought... You know, that doesn't sound like it's going to get him closer to what he wants. That's when I decided I wasn't going to pay him more than 10 bucks. I realized that it's not going to do any good. Because his, his consciousness, his awareness, isn't going to allow him to do anything other than what he does. So being in the present is something you got to save up for. you got to have a lot of money to buy some presents. A lot of money. And you don't get money just sitting around doing nothing, daydreaming, imagining. You get money by stopping your thoughts. You get money by stopping your negative emotions, stopping the expression of negative emotions. You get money by thinking about this system, the big ideas in this system, and connecting them up. I know it makes your head hurt. That's why people don't have a lot of money. Now we're talking inner money. We're talking about money that you can buy inner things with. You've heard me talk about being in the present, but you're not going to do it anytime soon. And if you can't do it, you're not really going to understand what it is, no matter how I define it. So it's really not about defining it. And it's really not about knowing how to do it. It's really about doing it. Now you have been in the present. If you will recall the times that you have been in the present, and try and connect those times up, then you will have something. You will have two things. You will have some money, because you will have taken big ideas of the work, and you will have tried to connect them together. And that always brings understanding, and understanding brings money. 
and you'll have a taste of being present. When you have a taste of it, then you'll be able to smell it. And when you can smell it, you'll be able to go after it and get hold of it until you can taste it again. 